All right, here it is, a full compilation video of all 28 days of me building my spice tolerance to take on the spicy noodle challenge. Shows all my triumphs and all my fails. Hope you enjoy seeing me in pain over and over. As some of you remember, I said I would do the spicy noodle challenge if Thai Orchid's employees would try it. It's basically putting four ounces of these Thai chili flakes in cup noodles and eating the whole thing. And out of the two people that try it, they both have only gotten two bites in. So I've come up with a strategy and I have no idea if it'll work. I will do a four day series where I try spicy foods to try to build up my spice tolerance. Today is day one and I will be eating jalapeno cream cheese Takis, but I will be including the insides of the jalapeno and the cream cheese along with truff sauce, their hotter version. I mixed everything together and put it into a sandwich bag so I could fill the jalapenos easier. I filled each jalapeno and was able to fit three Takis in each one. Okay, not bad. Definitely got a kick to it. I'm feeling the burn in the back of my throat, but this is actually really good. Do feel the taste of the cup hot sauce and then the peppers. I'm just gonna try to eat through these quickly so it doesn't really get to me. So here we go. Ooh. Number two. Three. Ooh, Julie is starting to burn right now. I gotta eat these quickly. I think some pockets will help, honestly, to help with the heat. Four. All right, so that completes the first day. I've got three more days to go before the final challenge. If you guys have any suggestions for spicy things for me to try to build up my spice tolerance, I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below and I'm gonna get a drink. All right, it's day two of trying to build my spice tolerance. Today, I'm attempting the ghost pepper spicy chicken noodles. I haven't tried these before, but I've seen videos of people trying it and it's kind of intimidating. And of course, it's got this warning, extremely spicy, try at your own risk. You know, totally what I wanna see before I eat something. So inside, you get a fork, which I don't need since I'll be using chopsticks, and then the hot sauce packet. The noodles are a dark purplish black color. It looks really cool. I added boiling water and let it sit for four minutes. Then I drained the water and added the hot sauce. I made sure to mix it really well so I wouldn't get any unpleasant surprises. So I have the whipped cream from yesterday. I think that will help the heat a little bit. I'll have some talkies with it. If I need to use it, I don't know if I need to, but we'll see. I'm pretty scared. I haven't tried these yet. I've tried some hot noodles, but not these. So we're gonna eat these. My goal is just to eat it as quickly as possible. Oh my gosh. Gotta get my hair off to the side, get into eating mode. Oh boy. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, but let's do this. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oof. That is hot. Wait, right, I'm not gonna jinx it by saying it's not as hot as I thought it would be, but it's still hot. It's burning. Ooh, my lips. Oh man. Okay, the key is definitely to eat it as quickly as possible because the heat is kicking in. I'm crying. Okay, that concludes day two. Give me suggestions for day three, please. All right, it's day three of me trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm trying the Blazing Carolina Reaper Wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. I think these came out a few months ago and I haven't had the chance to try them yet. Again, I have my whipped cream cheese from yesterday and I got their milk. It's supposed to be the white milk, but somehow I think they just accidentally gave me the chocolate one. So hopefully this helps at the end. I'm gonna try to go through this without using any of those. Um, I might have to, who knows. Okay, let's got a kick to it. It's burning. I can feel the burn now. It took a little while to kick in, to be honest. All right, five wings to go. Ooh. It is a very slow burn. It's starting to make the, <coughs> the outside <coughs> lips burn. Mm. 
I definitely think the key to these is do not get the sauce around your lips because that's where it's burning the most. Here's the last one. All right, so I just finished that six wings. This was probably the slowest burn I've had over the past few days. How many days have I been doing this? This is day three, and my lips are still burning a lot from this, so very slow burn, and it kicked in afterwards. The beginning felt really easy. I would probably put this on the same level as a ghost pepper, maybe just a little bit less spicy. I am feeling a head rush right now from the spice or something. Let's try the chocolate milk. Spicy wings and chocolate milk. Um, not something that I would, a pairing that I would normally go with. Oh yeah, that's good. That helped a lot. And that concludes day three. If you guys have suggestions for day four, comment down below. Thanks. It's day four of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'll be eating a Carolina Reaper pepper and a ramen bun. My friend gave me these peppers a couple of months ago and I've been storing them in vinegar in my fridge. I actually don't remember which one is a ghost pepper and which one is a reaper so there's a chance I'm getting it wrong. And I'll be cooking the two times spicy ramen. If you've seen some of my other videos then you know that I don't drain all the water after cooking the noodles but I will this time because I'm reintroducing some of the pepper juice into the noodles and then I'll add the two times spicy hot sauce. Then I rolled out some Pillsbury flaky biscuit dough and stretched it out so I could fill it with the noodles and scary looking reaper. Next I added the toasted nori and sesame seeds, shredded mozzarella, and I crushed up the rest of my Takis to dust a little over the top. Okay, so my plan was to just put a reaper in one of the buns and try to make them all look the same so I wouldn't know which one it was in. Unfortunately, that didn't work out because the offending bun opened up its hole in the steamer. So I thought I would be smart and put mozzarella slice on top of each one, and I definitely wouldn't know. I even spun the thing around over and over, but of course that didn't work, so I'll just save the reaper bun for my last one. This is day four of the challenge. Got these ramen buns, two times spicy, and I put Carolina Reaper in one of them. I wanted to make it fun and not know which one it was in, but obviously the bun was not cooperating, which is totally fine. I'll just leave it for the last one um, and I'll do these other two. And I just have some whipped cream cheese to help me out if I need it. It's the spice that burns. The sourness of the Takis adds a nice little touch to it. All right, it is the last piece. <coughs> I got one end of the Reaper. Here's the reaper peeking it out. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh no. I don't even like milk, but I have to drink this. My mouth is on crazy fire. My ears, I can't hear. Okay, this concludes day four. I will be doing day five tomorrow. It's day five of trying to build my spice tolerance. And I will be trying the world's hottest gummy bear, the nitrile gummy. It's combustible, it's hot, and it's flammable. It's 9 million Scoville, which makes it 900 times hotter than a jalapeno. The world's hottest gummy bear. Am I nervous? Yes, I am. There's no way I'm touching this with my hands. Oh gosh, I am scared, <laughs> guys. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. On three. One, two, three. It was spicy, yes, and it is getting spicier. My head's getting warm. Oh my, okay. Ooh, why did I just lick my lips? I can feel the head rush now. I don't know if I've hit the max spice yet because it's still getting pretty hot. It is not as spicy as a Carolina Reaper that I ate yesterday. All right, this is weird, but I can feel a vibration from my hands up to my face. All right, we are three minutes in. The spice is starting to slow down. My face is vibrating right now. This is so weird. But I'm also wondering if my spice tolerance strategy is working. I feel like that was supposed to be hotter than it really was for me personally. And I wonder if the past four days of prepping for this has helped. Okay, so it's been five minutes after swimming swallowing the nitro gummy. The heat is still there. I feel still my tongue burning, but it's mostly all gone. So do you guys think I am ready for the spice noodle challenge tomorrow? I might be. I think I am. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, at least some of you. Today, I'm attempting Thai Orchid's spicy noodle challenge using four ounces of their roasted Thai chili flakes and instant ramen noodles. We're going to see if all my prep has been worth it. Okay, I've got sugar. Someone commented that this may help with the burn. I've got some milk as well. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. <laughs> And I've also got some ice cream. Someone told me that that might help. Before we start with it, I'm gonna protect my lips with some chapstick. Can I take this big of a bite on my first one? That was bad. I don't think I can do it, guys. I can't do it. 
Oh my gosh, I'm tingling all the way down to my knees this time. Guys, this hurts a lot. Oh no. Severe tingling from my chest to my mouth. I am going to have to tap out. This was too much for me. I want to try the sugar first. Okay, I'll try one more bite. I feel bad for tapping out. I did all that work for nothing. Alrighty, I'm tapping out. That was too much. The sugar was good, I guess. It kind of helped. Oh yeah, milk. Milk it is. So I think the problem with the sugar was that does not mix well with the spice. It tasted horrible. It hurts. You guys, I am not sure how long it's been. But it burns from the front of my mouth to the back of my mouth. <laughs> I think it's 10 minutes after the challenge and my mouth is still on fire. It hasn't lessened at all. So that wasn't even an enjoyable heat. That was just pure torture. Each bite was straight fire in my mouth. If you're up for a spicy challenge, I say you should try this. But other than that, that was too much for me. Never again. I feel fine now, but earlier my mouth was on fire. Hey everyone, it's me, the person who's trying to build her spice tolerance. This video is a compilation of day seven, eight, and nine of the series, but with some extra footage that I wasn't able to fit in the previous short videos. On these days, I tried the Atomic Wings from Wingstop, a ghost pepper burrito, and the Tove Satan Lollipop. I hope you all enjoy this video of me being in pain. Well, it has been over a week since I failed the spicy noodle challenge, but I just cannot accept defeat. So I'm going to continue the series and hopefully try the challenge again in a few months or so. Today is day seven of trying to build my spice tolerance and some of you are suggesting the atomic wings from Wingstop. I haven't tried them before, so here we go. Also, someone suggested that I drink hot water to help with spice, so I'll put that to the side if I need it. All right, so smelling and looking at it, it already looks spicier than the Carolina Reaper blazing challenge from Buffalo Wild Wings. So it is saucier, which I think will be tough. I can smell the spices, so I've got my hot water here. I am very curious to see if these taste as spicy as the Carolina Reaper ones, but let's go ahead and go for a drumstick first. Cheers. First wing is done, and so far it is not as spicy as the blazing challenge. But I do remember when I did the blazing challenge, it took a while to kick in, so I want to keep going. It's got really great flavor on it, though. Number three. I feel a little bit of a kick around my lips, but not that much. So my nose is running, my lips are a little tingly, but really, these aren't that spicy. Maybe my taste buds have been burnt off since doing the spicy noodle challenge, but here we go, last one. These are definitely not as spicy as the Blazing Wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, but they had very good flavor. I would pick this flavor over the Carolina Reaper ones. I feel a burn, nothing crazy, just something you eat after spicy food. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the hot water because so many of you guys have suggested it. This is warm to hot water. We're gonna give it a try. 
can't tell, honestly. I think it's working, but I don't think I'll be able to tell until I actually eat something really spicy. But anyway, I am working myself up to try this one chip challenge. I've seen videos and it does not look good. It is day eight of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm making a ghost pepper burrito made with two times spicy ramen. I used half of a ghost pepper that has been sitting in vinegar for a few months. I just sliced it up and added it to seasoned beef. Then I cooked the two times spicy ramen noodles. I warmed up a flour tortilla and added some heated up refried beans, the noodles, and the beef with ghost pepper in it. I rolled it up and tried to cook it a little more in butter, but uh, yeah, that didn't work out. In my defense, this was my first time making a burrito. Okay, so I've got the ghost pepper burrito here. It is ready to eat. I've got this tortilla here. I'm just chilling to capture any meat that I may miss. So a big, big suggestion that people have been telling me to try it is bread. Um, they said that by eating this, that should help with the spice. So I have that to the side. And also handy dandy milk, which I think has been the most effective so far uh, in reducing the heat that I have been experiencing with the spices. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this and we shall see how it goes. Also, I have some meat left in the pan. I need to eat that as well. I just cannot fit it in the burrito, but I do wanna finish the challenge, so I will eat it after I finish this. Cheers. Wow. So it's instant, it's an instant heat into my mouth. It actually is kind of pleasant because it tastes really good. I'm gonna continue eating because I feel like this is gonna creep on me even more. The burn is there. It's really not that bad. This is actually really good. I am really surprised by this. Hmm. That's where I got the heat. So it's got a kick to it. I feel the burn in my mouth. I don't think it's hot enough for me to constitute this as building my spice challenge. So I'm going to add some fiery hot habanero pepper sauce. Whoa. Okay, that kicked in. I think I just bit a pepper. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add this into it. Alrighty, mouth is burning, but we gotta keep going. Woo! <sighs> Ugh. Okay, this is the rest of the meat in here. I'm gonna eat it because there's still some pepper in here. I got a bite of the pepper there. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Let's do this. <sighs> It's definitely a lingering heat. Yeah, I guess at the moment, I can't tell if the spice is from the ghost pepper or the two times spicy ramen or this hot sauce. So I have to admit that wasn't as spicy as I thought it would be. Ah, I just swelled some of the pepper. It's fine, it's totally fine, okay. All right, to test out bread. So this bread is good at temporarily stopping the heat, but it does come back. But it's doing more than I thought it would, to be honest. I think it's a little bit of the sweetness of the bread that helps that as well. So that concludes day eight. Uh, day nine will be the toe of Satan. So wish me luck for that. It's day nine of building my spice tolerance and I am attempting the toe of Satan lollipop challenge. This thing is nine million Scoville and you're supposed to keep it in your mouth for five minutes. I've seen videos of other people trying it and I'm pretty scared, but here we go. Also a big shout out to Tiny Makes Things for suggesting banana rice punch. I'm going to give this a try and see if it helps with the spice after the challenge. This is possibly the hottest candy on the planet. Do you dare attempt to conquer this sinister lollipop? Yes, I do. Nine million Scoville. This is gonna be on par with the nitro gummy that I tried, but the problem is that the nitro gummy, I got to eat it, chew it for 30 seconds, and then swallow it. But this one, I've gotta keep my mouth for five minutes. And I think that's gonna be where the problem lies because that is a lot of time. You can accomplish a lot in five minutes. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous. I say this every time, but I'm really nervous. Smelling it. It smells like cinnamon. Nothing too crazy, kind of crazy. I'm gonna put some chapstick on here. Someone told me to put it under my chin, but I, I don't know. I'll have to buy like a separate tube for that because that seems a little weird. And once I stick this in my mouth, it is game on for five minutes. I don't know if you can tell from the toenail from this. This is a big toe. On three, one, two, three, start.
Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay, I'm dying. Oh no. Um, as you guys have been following my journey, I've eaten a lot of spicy things. This is hands down the spiciest thing I've tried. This is worse than the spicy noodle challenge because the pain is lingering, like hardcore. And this banana rice milk did not help, unfortunately. That's the type of pain where it just does not go away. That was rough. That was really, really rough, guys. I'm not going to lie. I mean, look at this thing. It doesn't even look that bad. And my mouth is suffering for it. So that concludes day nine. Let me know your thoughts on what I should do for day 10 because I don't know what's gonna top that. Today is day 10 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm trying spicy chicken nuggets from McDonald's. It's got spicy in the name, so it's gotta be spicy, right? And since you're probably wondering if I've lost my mind, I'm pairing these nuggets with Elijah's hot sauce. They saw my videos and asked if I wanted to try their sauces and I was like, why not? They've got a ghost pepper sauce, reaper sauce, and the regret sauce. A lot of you have suggested yogurt to help with the spice, so I've got that on the side. Okay, so I'll start from the bottom spiciest, which I think is a ghost pepper sauce. How crazy is that to think this is the least one? Ooh, that actually smells really good. Whenever I watch people doing like hot sauce reviews and stuff, they pour it onto a spoon, but. Mm. That was delicious. It's got a very good tangy flavor to it. The next one I'll do is, I think this reaper sauce comes before the regret sauce that will that was a little bit too much, my my bad. I mean, my bad to myself because you guys aren't experiencing this. It's a blend of black cherries, cranberries, and Carolina Reaper peppers with a splash of Kentucky bourbon. Interesting. Uh, okay, well, cheers. Let's see how this goes. This is really good stuff, guys. Mm. Now we're on to the extreme regret, screaming hot, Scorpion Carolina Reaper hot sauce. It's full of flavor and regretfully hot. Okay, let's see if we regret this, guys. This is a thicker one compared to the last two. The other two just kind of like ran out. That was a lot. Well, here we go. Let's see if I'm going to regret it. The heat was there, but it wasn't like there there. So let's give it another try. It's starting to kick in a little bit more here. All three of the sauces are really good. The roof of my mouth is burning. So the regret one is definitely a slow burn. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Oof. So while the spice is still in my mouth, I'm gonna go ahead and try this yogurt. You guys can tell from my eyes, they're watering. So that last sauce was definitely hot. Was it more hot than the things I've tried? No, but it's got a good kick to it. It's actually a lot of you guys had recommended yogurt, so we'll go ahead and give this a try. I'm sure it will help. It's a dairy product and it's cold and it's cool, so, so cheers. Okay, so for the yogurt, I would say it has the same, same effect as a milk because temporarily it helps with the heat, but long-term, not even long term. Definitely kicks in. I do have to say the extreme regret sauce kicked in really late. That concludes day 10. Day 11 I am doing, doing the Creeping Reaper beef jerky. So we'll see how that goes. Today is day 11 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm trying Creeping Reaper beef jerky. I love beef jerky, but if it's made with Carolina Reaper peppers, yeah, I don't know about that. And to combat the heat, I'm going to try and see if honey helps since I've been seeing that suggested a lot recently. This jerky is made with the hottest peppers on earth. Enjoy with caution. It sounds delicious. Beef teriyaki sauce, uh, soy sauce. It's also got ghost pepper. That should be interesting. Ooh. That smells delicious. I'm a bit timid because the peppers on it look very intimidating. I mean, can you just see the peppers on this? It looks moist. I'm sorry if you hate that word. So here we go. I think the sweetness of it, the sweet teriyaki offsets it. This is delicious. It's burning my mouth, but at the same time, it's like a pleasant burn because of the, the sweet teriyaki and the soy sauce. I think that's helping a lot. 
if I had tried this last month, I think it would have been a lot worse. Whew. Towards the end, it got a little rough there. All right. While the heat is still in my mouth, I am going to try some honey. I think I just chewed a bunch of peppers. Cheers. Honey doesn't help. There's like a split second where I thought the honey would help, but I actually think it enhanced the, the spice around my mouth. Interesting. Whew. Milk is always the go-to. If you guys want to cut down the heat, start with milk. All right, that concludes day 11. For day 12, I think I will be doing the Pocky one Challenge. I think I'm ready for it. What do you guys think? Cheers. Today is day 12 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I am attempting the most requested challenge so far, the one chip challenge. This is the 2020 version so I'm not sure how many Scoville it is and to help with the heat I will be trying a chocolate bar as many of you have requested. Do you dare go head to head with the Reaper and do you have any last words? I don't have any, I'm kind of sweating, I'm a little bit nervous. Most of the people doing this challenge they're doing it for 5 minutes before they drink anything. Does it look deadly? Yes. Does it smell deadly? Yes. <laughs> So getting it down is gonna be hard. It's hot. The more I open my mouth, the hotter it gets. So I'm just gonna try to stay quiet. You can see my eyes are tearing up. The outside of my lips where the chip touched is getting hot as well. Mind over matter. We got this guys. I'm sweating. I feel a tingle in my face. And I think the spice is dying down actually. The spice is dying. This is awesome. I think building my spice tolerance is working. Three, two, and one. We did it. So my mouth is burning a little bit. So go ahead and try the chocolate. I'll try milk chocolate first. Ah, I look like a hot mess right now. Okay. All right, chocolate, here we go. I'm gonna let it melt on my tongue and see what happens. Ooh. So it's sadly, the chocolate enhanced the spice. So that was a no-go. It just made it worse. Yeah, chocolate was not it. Back to my milk. This is my nephew's milk, by the way. He, I asked him if I could have some, he said, sure. Alrighty guys, that concludes day 12. Uh, what do you think I should do for day 13? It's day 13 of me trying to build my spice tolerance and I am attempting a spicy white chocolate bar. It's stupid spicy and it contains 12 of the world's hottest peppers. And I actually don't have it because a few nights ago, Max the meat guy was teaching me how to cook a steak on Instagram Live when we found out that we both had the chocolate and we decided to do it together. I apologize for the quality on this. This was very much unplanned, so please forgive me. You brought this up, by the way. I just want to say- I, would, I was more of just like the idea of it. This is not me. This is not me. How we got to this point, I actually don't know. It happened really quickly. We got this, guys. We got this. Cheers. It's just a big piece of chocolate also. Oh, that's hot. You going to swallow it? Are you going to swallow it? It is hot. It is like really hot. It's really hot. <laughs> Max, are you okay? It's hot. Oh, wow. It's getting hotter too. The back of the- Don't touch your face. So someone said, it's hot, but it's not like hot, hot. What's hot, hot? I don't know. Like, I don't know, guys. Help him out in the comment section. You guys, I cannot believe we did that. <coughs> the hottest chocolate bar in the world. Minute. There you it is. You guys got first, like, you guys got front row seats to that because I was going to make that whole video, but there's no need to, obviously, at this point. Max, are you okay? Oh god, Tram's <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I love this. I just feel very like lightheaded. It's kind of nice actually. I feel like I'm... Um, you get that? I have noticed like eating spicy food gives you this head rush. Yeah. It gives you this whole body rush. And I didn't realize that until I started doing it. And I'm like, no, it's not bad. I don't know. What was your thought process? I was more just like the textures were hitting me. Like every once in a while, like, oh man, it's so very hot. Because I've been doing this for a while, the spice has died down for me, basically. It's day 14 of trying to build my spice tolerance, and I'm attempting the Choco Challenge made with a Black Reaper pepper. I've looked online and it's said to be 2,200,000 Scoville, and apparently it's extremely spicy. It looked innocent enough, to be honest, and then a lot of you have been suggesting heavy whipping cream to combat the spice, so I'll set that off to the side. You must be loco to consume this cocoa. So I'm just going to try and put the whole piece in my mouth.
Wow, okay, so I chewed it for about 30, 40 seconds. And swallowing it, I'm not gonna lie, was actually pretty tough. And it felt like nails scraping down the back of my throat. So this is pretty spicy. I'm going to put it on par, actually a little bit less than the one chip challenge, I'm, I'm thinking. It still hurts to talk. It feels like there are pinpricks all over my tongue. It's been almost two minutes since I've swallowed it. The spice is dying down much quicker than the one chip challenge. I just chewed some peppers that were still in my mouth. So let me just swallow those real quick. <sighs> okay. So the spice is basically gone at this point, but I kind of do want to try the whipping cream just because I have it. And I think this is spicier than the white lightning, to be honest, which I tried last week. It was their 2.0 of this. So I personally think it is spicier. I did get over the heat pretty quickly. I don't have a head rush. Heavy whipping cream. A lot of you guys suggested this, so I'm going to give it a try. It's very thick, obviously, as you can tell. Mmm. Very thick. I think this helped. It did have a pretty cooling effect on my tongue. So I'm gonna say this works. It's not very practical while I'm doing these spicy challenges because I'm definitely, I swallowed that portion of it, but the, like any more that I do put in my mouth, I would have to spit out. Alrighty, so that concludes day 14. If you guys have any suggestions for day 15, let me know. It's day 15 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm trying the spicy chicken sandwich from McDonald's with a twist. I'm going to be putting my own sauce on it made with mayo, sriracha, and a dried scorpion chili pepper. These peppers are 1,200,000 Scoville. The packaging says you will feel like your tongue is being stung by a red tail. It may also cause you to have a red tail several hours after eating. Warning, do not eat pepper directly and wear gloves when handling. To combat the heat, I will have Guinness on the side since I've seen that suggested a few times. Okay, so I've got my sandwich here. I've got my milk, I've got the Guinness that I will be trying after this. If I were smarter and less lazy, I would cut this in half. Do I regret this? No, I haven't done it yet. One, two, three. Okay, I'm not going to jinx this, but that wasn't that bad. I'm actually starting to feel the heat now. It's nothing crazy, but it's there. Okay, the last bite. Was that spicy? Yes. Was it spicy, spicy? No. I really need to create like some type of chart because I know when I say spicy, spicy, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm going ahead and try the Guinness since I have it. You guys know me. I like to try them even though I may not need it. I gotta admit, I haven't had a Guinness in a long time time. But yeah, that spicy challenge wasn't that bad. And I kept thinking it was going to be worse than it is because I'm putting a whole chili in it. I'll have to try to think of like more creative recipes to put it in to make it spicier. This is weird. I Okay, this is really weird, but I actually think it works. The main thing that I look for when I'm trying these spice remedies is if it enhances the heat or if it... Okay, never mind. The heat is coming. Yeah, it's... I can feel the burden now. It's enhancing the heat in my mouth and starting to get down to my stomach now. So I think my next one will be 9 million Scoville cheese balls. We'll see how that goes. Thank you everyone for following me on this journey. Today is day 17 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm reattempting a spicy ramen challenge that I did last year. I failed spectacularly, but in my defense, they poured over more of the hot sauce extract that they normally do because I was shooting a video. Today is redemption day and I'm also ordering some fried rice and spicy wontons to eat before to help protect my stomach from this level seven spicy noodles. Plus, I will be trying sour cream to help combat the heat. Okay guys, here we go. I got my cat back here for good luck. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk much because I feel like this is a lot to eat and I'm gonna need to get through quickly. We've got sauce here on the bottom, oh boy. Okay, it's fine, everything's fine. Jaden, can you give me a good luck, please? Thank you for not doing anything. Cheers, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I failed. <sighs> oh my gosh. Jaden, are you disappointed? Well guys, I'm sorry I failed another spicy noodle challenge. I thought I was gonna have that, but I did not. That extract is no joke. My gosh, I can't believe it was that spicy. Looking at this, it looks really good, but the first bite was straight heat of that extract where it's just like you're eating, I don't know, it's not It's not the good spicy is what I'm trying to say. I can't talk right now. After that, I knew I was in trouble, so I tried to eat as fast as I could to see if I can get through all of it. Obviously, that did not work. Another thing that I forgot to do was I forgot to put chapstick on. The sour cream, I think, would have helped, 
but after eating spicy ramen, the flavor in my mouth was just straight fire and having something sour and with this texture in my mouth after that was not good. I felt like I was gonna throw up. And I was so confident coming off the high of doing the cheese balls with my roommate. I feel like my spice tolerance is back down to zero now because that was, this was nuts. Today is day 18 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm attempting the world's hottest chocolate bar challenge. This tiny thing is 9 million Scoville, which puts it on par with the toe of Satan lollipop and the nitro gummy. On the back it says this 12 piece chocolate bar is extremely spicy and is not to be consumed by those sensitive to spicy foods or anyone with any existing heart or respiratory conditions. And to help combat the heat I will be trying lemonade since I've been seeing that suggestion a lot. I say this every single time but I am nervous to try this. It's been almost over a month since I've done my last spicy challenge so what if my spice tolerance has gone down. It probably has. I've watched other videos where people will cut off a little piece of it. I'm just gonna go for the whole thing. I'm gonna do a five minute timer afterwards for the afterburn. I'm not gonna drink or eat anything. So in my last few like spice tolerance videos, people are asking like why I'm using chopsticks. And it's like if you touch the chocolate and you accidentally touch your face or your eyes, I mean, that's not gonna be a good experience, right? So that's why I'm using chopsticks. So I can just not even deal with all that. Oh yeah. That's spicy. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a spicy challenge that I'm like really nervous right now. It does smell very similar to the last one I did. I just wanna say if I don't make it out of this alive that my roommate gets my secret ramen stash. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. And please let her know she's not at home right now. So please let her know. Okay, that's hot. Um. I think it's gonna creep on some more. Yeah, it's creeping up. To me, this is similar to the one chip challenge, but for the one chip challenge, I remember it being a little bit harder to talk, but this is kicking in. We're now a minute in. My mouth is burning, my eyes are watering. I can feel most of the heat at the roof of my tongue where most of the chocolate melted. I'm hoping a head rush comes in to distract me from the heat of this because it is getting very spicy. Like my, my voice just dropped like 10 octaves. Actually, I'm not very musically inclined, so I don't know how many octaves I dropped, but my voice lowered. Okay, so I don't want to jinx it, but this isn't as hot as I thought it would be. You've got the typical pinpricks across your tongue. The spice on the roof of my mouth has died down, but my tongue has tightened up. I don't know if that's correct grammar, but it has. And I actually think it is slowing down right now. Hey, Jaden, any words of encouragement? The spice has, is dying down. It's on the, it's on the, the, this is incline, downcline, right? If this is incline, it'd be outcline, but that doesn't sound right. Downcline, it's on, it's going down. 30 more seconds and the spice has died down basically. Stomach wise, I feel pretty good. I think the uh, smoothie and the acai bowl I had helped a lot. Do we make it? We made it, high five. So the spice has pretty much died down, but there is a little bit left. So, I mean, let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, this helps. I think it's the sugar content and the, and the lemon in here. This is really cool. I find that very interesting. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in on day 18 of trying to build my spice tolerance. For day 19, I will be trying the spicy ramen that Hiani Eats sent me. The packaging looks extremely scary, so we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned for day 19. Today, I'm re-attempting the one chip challenge to see if it's as spicy as I remember it. I just need to chew and swallow it and not drink or eat anything for five minutes. And I'm a bit skeptical about using gum to combat the heat, but some of y'all have commented it, so here we go. So I'm currently on the road, so I'm in a hotel room right now, and I decided I would just do this one chip challenge. I was packing up for the trip, and I thought, why not? What if I feel like doing it? And today, I feel like doing it. I last did this back in January, so I'm going to see how it tastes now. Cheers. I forgot a timer. Well, it's still spicy. Is it as spicy as I remember it? I don't think so. I remember the first time I did it, I got on the outside of my lips, so it was burning. But this time, it's mainly just on the tongue. So there's still a little bit of burning on my tongue, but it's already died down at this point, which means that my spice tolerance is building. It's already on the decline, guys. By the way, I, I remembered the word, it's a decline. Yeah, so the heat is basically gone at this point. Doing gum. 
Mm -mm. Not a good idea, but I'll I'll weather it out here. Alrighty, whoever suggested gum, I think you're trying to kill me. It's like bringing back the spices from my mouth and it's making my mouth burn, so. I don't know if it's a no, but thank you for the suggestion. That was re-attempting the one chip challenge. It was not as spicy as the first time, so I will take that as a win. My next spicy challenge is day 19, and I will be doing spicy noodles that I got from me honey eat, so. Bye. Today is day 19 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm trying the world's spiciest ramen, the Devil of Fire. Big shout out to Hiani Eats for sending me these. The packaging says this is 2 million Scoville. By the way, I'm still on the road so I'm cooking this in my hotel room. Not going to lie, the sauce looked pretty scary. And to combat the heat, I've been getting suggestions to try alcohol so I'm using scotch whiskey. Okay guys, so I am just going to try to get this done as quickly as possible. I have not been doing so well with the spicy noodle challenges so my strategy is less talk and more doing. So let's see how that goes. Mm -mm. It's hot, <laughs> but I gotta keep going. Can you guys see me sweating? Cause I can feel it. Overall, <clears throat> overall it's not as bad as I thought it would be. About four minutes and there's just a mild tingling in my mouth. I don't think it really helps, but this is really good scotch whiskey. Today is day 20 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I will be trying the One Chip Challenge 2021 version. The packaging says it's made with Carolina Reaper pepper and scorpion pepper. This straight from hell chip was created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. Sounds like just my type of thing. Also thank you Pocky for sending me this chip to try. So you get the typical warning sign on the back. Don't try this challenge if you have any heart issues or are sensitive to spicy foods. Oh jeez. It smells very similar to the first chip, but it looks more deadly to be honest. To combat the heat, I will be trying Skittles because someone suggested it and I love Skittles. All right, you guys, here we go. The 2021 Pocky One Chip Challenge. Um, I've been pointing this off for quite a while. I've been kind of busy, but here we go. They gave me gloves. Shout out to Pocky for sending me this and thinking of putting the gloves in there because that is perfect. I kind of like these actually. So it smells like the 2020 version, just that concentrated spice. For this, I'm gonna try to last five minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna break it even further. Nah, I won't do that. Okay, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, this does burn more than the first one. It probably also doesn't help that my lips are kind of dry, so I feel like it's penetrating a bit differently, but holy smokes. Okay, we're a minute and a half in, and my lips are burning way more than my tongue is. So really, I shouldn't do any spicy challenges when my lips are dry, because it gets through a bit further. I'm trying to think of my happy place right now. Oh, there's a piece of chip in there. I'm getting the head rush. I haven't had that in a while. The head rush is nice. It's distracting me. Wow. Okay. This is definitely spicier than the first one. Like I feel very lightheaded right now. It has made its way to my stomach so I can feel the burn there. But overall not as spicy. Whoa. The head rush. Oh, the head rush. I think still not as spicy as a Toe of Satan spicy challenge, but this stuff is spicy guys. This feels like if you cut habanero pepper in half and then you just rubbed it all around your mouth and your lips, that's how it would like feel like, I think. I, I mean, I haven't tried that, but I feel like that's what it would feel like. We've got 30 seconds left until five minutes. The heat is lingering a lot longer than the other spice challenges I've done. Usually they only stick around for a little bit, but it also could be because I'm talking. I should probably stop talking, actually. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking until we finish this. Oh, we finished it. It's five minutes. We made it, guys. Holy smokes. So it's been almost six minutes since the challenge. My lips are burning, my nose is running, I'm crying. We're trying chips. I mean, we're trying Skittles. Jeez Louise, guys. Okay, oddly, this helped. I think it's the amount of sugar coating my mouth that helps. I also put like a huge mouthful, so I'm sure that's what helped as well. But Skittles helps. I also think it's where like I'm concentrating on the chewing of the Skittles, so I'm not really thinking about the spice. I have to admit this one chip challenge is pretty brutal compared to the other challenges that I've done, so. Um, yeah. 
Today is day 21 of my ramen challenge featuring building my spice tolerance. It's the same day for both so I thought let's combine them cause why not? I'm going to remake the ramen burger with some adjustments. For the buns I'm going to use these ghost pepper noodles. I had these early on in the spice series and they were pretty hot. Ghost peppers range around the 1 million Scoville mark. Also I asked on Instagram what I should use to help combat the heat and someone suggested a pickle so I'll be trying that. Another addition to the burger is that I'll be putting in the 2020 version of the world's hottest tortilla chip. I have some that I was supposed to send to friends but haven't got the chance yet so I might as well use it. The chip was broken and I had fun fishing it with my chopsticks. The noodles were done after 4 minutes covered in hot water. So I drained them and added the sauce. I don't know why, but I'm always thrown off by the color of these noodles. Next was making the ramen bun molds. Oh wait, never mind. Ah, with eggs. The last time I made the buns, they broke apart, and when we used the egg in the pizza, it helped hold its shape. So I'm just going to add one egg to this. Now I can put it in the mold. One other thing is that I'm going to make the bun thinner so it's easier to hold. So I'll make both buns in one mold. I cut out a piece of parchment paper to help separate them. It wouldn't stay flat so I used a fork to help with the process. Once that was full, I placed another piece of parchment paper along with a plate and bowl for good measure to keep it tight. Pop that into the fridge so it could harden a bit. For the patties, I'm going to use leftover ground beef from my ramen burger video. I had just thrown this into the freezer so it's already pre-seasoned and everything. I'm going to make these smaller and smash them out. I think that will make the burger easier to hold as well. Last time they were a bit thick. Well, I guess that's why they call it a smash burger. The mug wasn't flattening it enough for me, so I started patting the meat down with the side of the mug. Also, I have something I want to show off to you guys. I got a cheese grater. Now I can shred my own cheese. I'm so excited. I'll be adding this Carolina Reaper cheese for my ramen bun video. These have real peppers in them and they pack a big punch. After a couple of hours, I pulled the buns out of the fridge. Kinda looks like a brain, not gonna lie. It's holding its shape pretty well, although I probably could have left it in the fridge for at least another hour. Next was crisping them up and cooking the egg that's in it. Hopefully they don't break apart like last time. I kinda I got scared that the first one was burning so I flipped it but it was fine. Since I left the second one longer, it looked great when I flipped it. I basically just flipped it over every once in a while for about 6 minutes until they looked good to me. And then I started contemplating whether I wanted to add an egg or not to the burger. Should I add an egg to this? Nah. I mean, but that'd be good though. Jaden, yay or nay? Mm -hmm. Can't tell what that is. After some help from my cat, I decided I'll add one. So I took the buns out of the pan, added oil and an egg. But I didn't want a runny egg since it was a huge mess last time. This time I just spread it around to make it as flat as possible. Then I flipped it, so basically it's just a fried egg. Just not the one my niece prefers. Now it's time to cook the patties. These are so much quicker to cook since they're thinner. I added the cheese and let it melt a bit. And it's assembly time. Bottom bun, patty. World's hottest freaking tortilla chip in all its broken glory, second patty, fried egg, and top bun. It's a bit scary looking, but at least it looks holdable. I hope you guys are ready for this. I'm not sure if I am, but it smells great. It smells spicy. The smash patties didn't turn out that bad. I'm gonna try to eat this as quick as possible. Mm. Spicy. But good. The egg was a good addition. <clears throat> the back of my mouth and my throat are burning, and now my mouth is great. That's bad. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's bad. If it's not the spicy noodles, it's the spicy Carolina Reaper cheese. If it's not the cheese, it is the world's spiciest chip. I got a big piece of the chip in that one. Oh. Like the burger is good itself, but the chip just throws it all off. I could feel my stomach burning right now actually as well. So that's fun. This is a lot of food. <laughs> Everything is so good until I bite the chip. Then it all goes downhill. Holy smokes. My cat is very concerned right now. Sorry, Jaden. One biter. Man, the burger is so good. I'm not gonna lie. Freaking chip, man. Just do it, just do it. Whew. 
<laughs> I'm still getting like after shivers from the chip. It's disgusting. Ugh. So it's been a few minutes since the challenge. Really, I feel fine. My mouth is a little bit on fire. <laughs> And obviously my nose is running, but my stomach is a little on fire. Not Nothing too bad, but it was fun. Now I know if I ever want to make that burger, I can make it. Just omit the freaking chip because that killed it. I mean, I got a little tingling on my tongue, so I might as well try the pickle since I haven't tried that yet. So it's been about five minutes now. I don't think I need milk. I'll probably drink some just to coat my stomach a little bit more. Pickle, does it help? It was good. I love pickles. I think it helps initially. The sourness distracts you from the spice pain a little bit, but overall the spice comes back. And I think with the liquid component in the pickle juice, that actually disperses the spice more around your mouth. I think if you want like a, a quick fix, pickles will work. Anyway, that was day 21 of my ramen challenge and building my spice tolerance. So what do you guys think I should do for my next ramen challenge day and my next spice tolerance day? Um, I'm excited to see. Today is day 22 of trying to build my spice tolerance and we'll be trying this hot sauce with leftover wings we had from Thai Tung. All right, so I bought the sauce a year ago and I'm just now trying it with me. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing is 135,000. Also, side note, being around Matt and Michael is just non-stop laughing about the most random things. It is what it is. <laughs> what it is. Say <laughs> what it is. So this says, uh, consume one drop at a time with extreme oh, caution. That's some baby sh We're doing this. We're going all in. Okay. Today you meet Matt cry for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well then you pour the sauce on. Basically, Matt was talking a big game and I couldn't wait to see him time. cry. So I'm mixing it. It's really stuck up here. Okay. It's uh, clogged. You won't be though. <laughs> I won't be. It's gonna clean us out. Uh, I want to try it on the wing. Okay. You guys gotta just go do it on the wing. You gotta just try it. Though. You gotta try it. Come on. The flavor isn't. Bad. I don't. I don't like that. It's got heat. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the flavor of it. Yeah. I don't, I don't like it. You definitely should not drink water, just FYI. Yeah, it, it spreads it. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, you need to have milk. This is not fun. Have you had this? No, this is my first time having it. But it's not that bad, honestly. Did you just put whipped cream in your <laughs> mouth? Yeah. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f Okay. Oh man, that smells like hell. My roof of my mouth is on fire. How much did you get in your finger? I don't know. Like a good finger full? It's like a different kind of hot. This is like, this just hurts. Yeah. The flavor's good, but it just hurts. I shouldn't have put it on the back of my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> to take one for the team, I'll take the one that has most sauce. No, don't do that. Yeah. No, 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 no. Do yeah. the, that one. Why? That's really, that, that's a lot. It's all right. I'm oh, going to do God. it. All right, you got to pick yours. Michael, you got to take one. That burns. It honestly tastes like Carolina Reaper, even though it doesn't say it has it in it. You want milk? I'm actually good. It's a good burn. Good burn. Good burn. Good soup. Good? Yeah. Okay. So on a scale of one through 10, and like 10 being the spiciest thing you've ever eaten, what would you say this is? Nine. Really? Yeah. Yeah. This is really hot though. Honestly, it's not that bad. Her bone is clean. <laughs> You got the cheers. He's tapping out. I'm done. Look at that. That's crazy. Let me know if I should do a spicy challenge for the month. Oh, mm, huh. They're currently dying. Good thing I didn't do my index fingers. Next up, Lisa tries to kill our buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> day one of the challenge and the smoke detector is going off. So that's fun. Today is day one of letting you pick my meal and we've got a request for a barbecue and chicken cheese pizza with hot peppers of your choice. Simple and good for day one. If only it were that easy. I'm just going to say right off the bat that I've shot hundreds of videos over the past few years and this one was one of the most frustrating. I also decided to use the bomb hot sauce in my barbecue sauce base, but this isn't the one they use in the show. This one is the ground zero version, which is almost two and a half times spicier. When I saw this comment, I immediately thought of the smoked brisket that Senpai Kai gave me when he visited a couple 
12 months ago. The only problem is that it's a frozen block and I needed to cook it today for the challenge. Good news is that I can sous vide it. I texted Max to make sure it was safe and I got the okay. So it's only been a month since I've used the vacuum sealer and I've already forgotten how to use the slicer. I don't remember how to use this. After spending an embarrassingly long amount of time to figure it out, we were good to go. I set it for 155 degrees Fahrenheit and plopped the brisket inside. Next was making the pizza dough. Thanks to Janelle, I have a recipe. Flour, yeast, salt, water, and olive oil. Make sure you don't forget to attach the dough hook. Oops. So I think I definitely should have mixed the dry ingredients first because the salt was just a clump. Also a big shout out to Janelle. When she visited me last week, she noticed I didn't have any spatulas, so she got me some. So the salt wasn't mixing in that well, so I took matters into my own hands and mixed it up before using the stand mixer for about six-ish more minutes. I also added a little more water just because it seemed dry. I sprayed a bowl with nonstick spray, placed in the dough, and covered it up. Okay, so I got my dough resting. Resting? Or is it poofing? I don't know. And I've got this in the sous vide, so now now I'm gonna go to the store and get the rest of the ingredients. I went to a local meat market. Can I just get one chicken breast, please? So that takes care of the chicken part of the request. And I also grabbed a red onion since that will help provide some crunch and flavor. Then I went to the Italian market to figure out which cheese would be best. I was kind of overwhelmed with the cheese choices, so I asked the employee. Which cheese would be best for like topping our pizza? Okay, I'll take uh, three of those. For the peppers, I was thinking banana peppers, but they didn't have any, so I went for the hot whole cherry peppers. I'm back home and the dough doesn't look like it has risen much, but it also doesn't look too bad. I put on my apron and my cat was getting some exercise. Now it's just prepping all the toppings, starting with the peppers first. Then I cut the red onion. Now for the mozzarella. I was thinking of shredding it so I can sprinkle over the pizza, but that's not how things work. Okay, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work, but it didn't, so I'll just rip apart pieces later on. I just sliced them up so it would be easier to tear apart later. Also, I definitely didn't need three, so if you have any ideas for what I should do for the rest of the mozzarella, please let me know. Okay, now that I've gotten the easy toppings out of the way, it was time to cook the chicken. Just going to pound out the thicker end so it'll cook more evenly, removing the skin and just seasoning it with salt and pepper since it'll be covered in barbecue and hot sauce. And I'm not really sure why I'm cooking it in a stainless steel pan since I've never cooked chicken in this thing before. I guess I'm just trying to increase the difficulty level or something because why not. Heated up the olive oil and dropped the chicken breast in along with the skin. I'm going to see if I can crisp it up and use it as a crunchy topping. While the chicken is cooking, I'm mixing up the barbecue sauce with the hot sauce. I'll be using Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. And the hot sauce says, consume one drop at a time with extreme caution. I shook up the bottle and poured in a good amount. Mixed it up and then continued cooking the chicken. I spread out the dough in a greased up cast iron skillet. Not gonna lie, I was pretty proud of myself up to this point. Things were going well and this actually looks like pizza dough. The brisket has been in for four hours at this point and I took it out and it was looking juicy. Also, I don't have a brisket knife, so please don't come at me in the comments for how I slice this. A brisket, jeez Louise. I couldn't resist, I had to try a bite and Oh boy, was it good. Props to Kai and his dad for cooking this. I basically just shredded the brisket so I could just spread it on top of the pizza. Man, I couldn't stop snacking on the meat. And then it was time to cut the chicken. I don't know why I didn't use the tongs to help hold the meat. I think the good brisket was impairing my ability to think. Hot. Alrighty, things were going great. Got my dough and all my toppings and the oven is preheated to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. I spread out the sauce, which is smelling very spicy, added the brisket and chicken, and just a couple of slices of the chicken went a long way. I don't know why I thought I would need to use the whole thing. And then I got the crispy chicken skin, which I just sprinkled over the top, got out my mozzarella, and used about three-fourths of the one in the balls. Next were the cherry peppers. Alright, I might have gone overkill with the ingredients, but it's really too late to back out now. Yeah. I went overkill. With all the toppings on, I drizzled a bit more barbecue sauce for good luck. I was very happy with how it looked and couldn't wait for how it turned out. Alrighty, good luck, bye. I don't really know why I said bye to it. Maybe because I just built an emotional attachment to it or something. So after a minute in, the smoke detector went off and this is the very first time it's gone off here, which says a lot since I cook steak quite often. I don't know if it was from the hot sauce or the high heat of the cast iron skillet being in there, but it didn't seem that smoky. I grabbed my mouse pad and started fanning the detector, which got to turn off. I also opened up the windows. I opened the oven with the eyes right at the opening and the fumes got me. After 10 minutes, it didn't look done, so I added four minutes. Maybe not. I put it in for four more minutes. I don't know what the theme with four is. Okay, but doesn't that almost look like a pizza commercial though? Advertising Lisa's spicy pizza. All right, I think I'm losing it. 
Jeez Louise. All right, take two. This time I did three minutes. Okay, now it's done. The crest looks nice and brown. Isn't it beautiful? Oh no. What the? I really just wanted some pizza, y'all. Oh well, good things come with patience. I put it in for another eight minutes. If it's raw, it's raw. I just took it out because I didn't want the toppings to be more overcooked than they already were. It doesn't look too bad. Pizza crust fail. I grabbed one slice and put the rest back in the oven so it could continue cooking while I ate this piece because I was hungry. <sighs> Spicy. Ooh. Yeah. This should have been a spice tolerance day. That is just straight up heat. Holy smokes. Spicier than I thought it would be with that little amount that I put in there. Ooh. Oh, the brisket's so good. That is really spicy. Also, the dough is really salty, so I have a feeling that I put too much salt in it. I did, in fact, put too much salt into it. Instead of the 5 8 of a teaspoon I was supposed to put in, I put in a whole tablespoon. In my defense, I was splitting a recipe in half in my head, plus I got it mixed up with the olive oil number. Okay, that's a pretty weak excuse. Moral of the story, write everything out. This is where I made my next mistake. Well, besides the pizza resembling hockey pucks. Always let your food cool down. I took my second bite and... All right, no big deal, but I just burned my lip pretty bad. I let the pizza cool down and went to finishing the last pieces. So salty. So full. Last piece. I don't think that was worth it, but... Yeah, I don't know what I was gonna say. Yeah, so it was a rough day, but I figured why not just make it a spice tolerance day? So to combat the heat, I'm going to try almond milk, which I had because I was going to try and make ice cream. This is actually my first time trying almond milk and I don't know how I feel about it. It is helping with the spice, I believe, but it also could be that my mouth is happy with the soothing effect it's having on my burnt mouth and my burnt lip, so. Could be either or, but the spice, I mean, has died down at this point. Um, it was really spicy, and I will be redoing this for tomorrow because I can't believe I let this get the better of me. I need to sleep this off and figure out a new game plan, but... We'll see. This video was only supposed to be a minute long, but here we are. And tomorrow is going to be a new day and we're gonna conquer the pizza. Also, I got my 10K steps in today. Today is day 24 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I will be trying spicy beef jerky. This is stupid hot beef jerky that is melt your face spicy. The ingredient list includes Carolina Reaper mash, Trinidad scorpion pepper powder, habaneros, ghost pepper, and Thai chili flakes. No big deal. To combat the heat, I've got a suggestion to try pineapple juice. All right, you guys, here we go. Stupid hot beef jerky. So it doesn't say that I need to have this in my mouth for a certain amount of time or anything. Oh boy. So this smells like the one chip challenge, the tortilla chip, but like tastier. Oh boy. Okay, this is taking like 10 years to chew. So the peculiar thing is, I don't taste much of the spice inside my mouth, but where it touched my lips on the outside, that's where I feel most of it. Um, but yeah, inside is now actually starting to burn. Yeah, there it is. All right, that spice is kicking in. Is it unbearable? No, but, oh man, that's burning the outside of my lips. The more I keep my mouth open, the hotter it is. So I just let that kind of chill. I don't know, we're about a minute into me swallowing and the spice is dying. Yeah, I'm gonna compare this to the One Chip Challenge to 2021 version, except I did enjoy this one more because I like chewing beef jerky. But man, if you're eating spicy stuff like this, don't let it touch the outside of your lips. Whew. Anywho, we're gonna try pineapple juice to see if that helps with the spice. Yeah, my cat. Oh, okay, for some reason I thought there'd be like way more pineapple in this. I mean, more pineapple juice. I don't know if you just heard my cat. Yep, there's his paws. It's good. Closest thing I got to me is chopsticks, so grab some pineapple here. Cheers. Okay, initially that helped, but ooh. 
that made it worse. If there's any type of liquid in it, water-wise, basically what it's doing is that it's just spreading that spice out. Cheers and let me know what I should do for the next day of building my spice tolerance. If this place looks familiar, it's because it's the restaurant where I got the chili flakes that inspired the whole Building My Spice Tolerance series. Now I'm inspired by one of you who has been asking me for over a year to reattempt the challenge, but to do it slowly, starting from a level four to a level seven. Thank you to Yusuf for the idea. So over the course of four days, I should have worked my way up to a full four ounces. These are roasted Thai chili flakes and they are not to be messed with. I did not feel great after that last attempt, but now I'm a year older, my spice tolerance is a wee bit better and hopefully I'm a little wiser. I'm measuring everything out now so I can start game planning for success. Day one will be one tablespoon, day two will be two tablespoons, day three will be three tablespoons. And then the grand finale. I will mentally prepare and start this challenge in four days starting on Sunday. I'll see you then. So today is the first day of working my way back up to the spicy noodle challenge. I want to try my best to fit the challenge video into 60 seconds, so each day I'm going to do a game plan video where I talk about how I'm going to conquer this challenge. I'll do it while making my prep meal. I'm just making a turkey sandwich. It's light yet will provide nice protection from the chili flakes. I don't know why I just added hot sauce to this when I am about to do a spicy challenge. <laughs> Jaden, why didn't you stop me? I rewatched last year's fail and basically I need to stop talking. Each time I opened my mouth, it was making the heat in my mouth hurt even more. So I just need to power through. That is my game plan and I'm sticking to it. Today is day 25 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I will be trying one tablespoon of roasted Thai chili flakes and cup noodles. And to combat the heat, I've got a suggestion to try marshmallows. Seems like a good idea to me. I made the noodles and added the chili flakes. Man, when it's spread out like this, it just looks like so much more than a tablespoon. I'm gonna go straight into the noodles. I kind of gave you guys my prep earlier while I was making my lunch. <laughs> Shoot, I'm like scared. Uh, this is not a good sign going into day one of this. <coughs> okay, all right, we got this. It's just pure chili flakes in this broth here. Why did I chew that? I should have just swallowed. Fudge it. <laughs> it's kicking in. Marshmallow. I think in the temporary short term, but then the heat comes right back. So it's day two of the spicy game plan, and to try to clear up the confusion, overall it's the 26th day of trying to build my spice tolerance. I started this series last year to take on this four ounce chili flakes challenge. I failed the challenge and I haven't tried it since. I got a suggestion to try it again, but slowly work my way up with the chili flakes. So it's day two of the chili flakes and I'll be doing two tablespoons. Hopefully that made sense. I'm making a chicken sandwich for lunch and I don't want to jinx things, but yesterday wasn't that bad. Yes, there was a little burn, but it was mainly on my lips since they were a little chapped. So game plan for today is to do the same thing by not talking and just eating, but apply more chapstick. Also, I did not enjoy the broth left at the end, so I'm going to add less water to the noodles to see if that helps. Let me know if I should do something else. Side note, these Lay's Pure Spicy Flavor Chips are not spicy at all, but they have a great crunch to them. Today is day 26 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I will be trying two tablespoons of chili flakes and cup noodles. Part of my game plan for today is to add less water so I'm not left with a ton of broth at the end. There's still quite a bit, but much less than yesterday. This is gonna be so bad. This is only day two. To combat the heat, I will be trying a jam suggestion. Sure, this one has viper peppers in it, but I think the sugar content will help with the spice. Most of the broth is soaked up by the noodles. Just like yesterday, I'm not gonna talk as much. I'm just gonna go straight into the noodles and we're gonna see what happens. Cheers, YOLO. Currently thinking of my happy flesh. Why'd I talk? Oh, shiz. Okay, with the camera falling, that kind of screwed me up because I had to fix it. The head rush is kicking in right now. Pretty strong. This has a lot of sugar content, so I think it will help. It helps initially, but then again, the spice kicks right back up. So, oh my gosh. Handy dandy milk is always the winner. It's really all about mind over matter. So if I tell myself now that it's not spicy, that absolutely does not work. 
It's day three of my spicy game plan and I'm going to add on to my previous game plans since they seem to be working. Today will be three tablespoons of the roasted Thai chili flakes. And for today's meal, I'm just making an egg and cheese sandwich. So I need to continue adding less water to cook the noodles. I like how there's not a lot of broth at the end. Wear a ton of chapstick to protect my lips. And a big thing I gotta add to the plan is to make sure my tripod is secure. Yesterday when I had to fix the tripod, I was breathing in a lot of air into my mouth and it made everything much hotter. I can't take any breaks or I think that will be my downfall. I think I've been doing a pretty solid job with not talking as much, but yeah, I think I'm good for the challenge today. Hopefully this egg sandwich will sit well in my stomach. Today is day 27 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I've got three tablespoons of roasted Thai chili flakes and cup noodles. Each day, I'm just amazed at how it looks in the noodles. To combat the heat, I've got a suggestion to try lemon juice or Diet Coke and to trust the process. I've tried lemon juice in the past, so I'll try the Diet Coke on this one, making sure my tripod is secure and it's game time. So if I take like three big bites like this, I could finish it. I haven't been timing the others to see how quickly I'm eating it, but I think I'm gonna pretend I am like a speed eater, a professional eater here and try to finish it within 15 to 20 seconds. I also don't wanna choke. Holy head rush. Lips are burning, I'm crying. Holy moly. All right, Diet Coke. Mm -mm. Oh. Diet Coke, bad idea. It just spread the spice everywhere. I forgot what I was gonna say. I can't even think clearly. It's the final day of my spicy game plan and I fudged up. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did not measure everything out in a smart way. Like I did one tablespoon the first day, then two, then three, but then I jumped to four ounces, which is eight tablespoons. What was I thinking? I mean, I just have to go for it. It's too late to back out now. And also originally for this prep, I was going to make a steak sandwich, but I randomly ran into the owner of this tortilla company and it reminded me of the red corn tortillas that have been chilling in my freezer. So I'm making red Wagyu tacos while working through my game plan. Basically, we have the normal stuff like wear chapstick and drink milk and eat a nice meal before the challenge. Cuddle with Jaden for a bit for emotional support, but one thing I'm changing is I need more broth. I know I've been reducing it quite a bit, but I'm gonna need it. I almost choked on day three because the noodles were so dry. Also, I feel like I need this disclaimer. Please do not try this challenge at home. Other than that, I'm just gonna continue doing the same thing. Don't talk and just eat the noodles as quickly as possible. Comment down below if you think I'll be able to conquer this challenge. Today is my second attempt at taking on the spicy chili flakes noodle challenge. I feel failed miserably the first time, so we'll see how this goes. Here is the four ounces of the flakes. To combat the heat, I've got some mayo. It's got oils, it's fatty, and I think it should help. I'm going to add a little bit more broth than yesterday so I don't choke. Jeez Louise. I was having a ton of flashbacks to last year and I was getting a little nervous. All right, guys, it is the final day. I've got the noodles, I've got my mayo, and also I wanted to announce that I have my first merch drop. I just want to thank you guys all for the support. I've been able to work with some designers to create this, and I love hoodies, so I thought that could be my first launch. So I'll put a link in the description as well as in the comment section if you guys are interested in another hoodie. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it all. I'm just gonna hop straight into this challenge. I'm gonna eat as fast as possible without choking. Let's get right into it. Those are real tears, not fake. So I haven't had one of these in a while, the full body rush from my head to my mouth to my knees, but it's happening. My knees feel very tingly. My arms are starting to feel heavy. I've never felt this type of rush before. Through my head, it's not going away. This is really weird. I'm gonna try mayo. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but mayo is disgusting. Oh, I'm sweating. Mayo, bad idea, because I can't even get down. We got milk. 
Milk has an instant cooling sensation, which is really nice. First time I've cried like that in a while, so I really needed it, needed that crying session. Um, I had a fun time getting to this point and I hope you guys all had a fun time watching the journey. If you think I should continue doing this, let me know and uh, we'll figure something out. I'm finishing up my milk right now and there's chili flakes in them. How awesome.